alcoholic cardiomyopathy is real and probably underdiagnosed. Here's a quick framework from this update. The definition, greater than 80 grams of alcohol daily for over five years. That's about six to eight beers per day. A dilated left ventricle with an ejection fraction under 50% and exclusion of other causes of dilated cardiomyopathy. Epidemiology shows that men are affected nine to one over women making up around 4 to 5% of unexplained dilated cardiomyopathy. Pathogenesis is about ethanol and acetylaldehyde toxicity. Genetic predisposition, comorbidities, and nutrition. The treatment, it starts with one thing, alcohol abstinence. Patients also get standard heart failure with reduced ejection fraction medications, such as beta blockers, ACE inhibitors. Well, you know the drill. Prognosis depends almost entirely on whether the patient stops drinking. Abstinence improves ejection fraction, function, and heart transplant-free survival. Hat tips to the authors, don't forget to check out the Vasopressor Nanotrope handbook. How often do you check alcohol history in unexplained heart failure cases?